This is breaking news. Um, really our greatest uh, heartfelt concern goes out to all those passengers that were, that were on our bus. Nobody wakes up in the morning thinking they're going to be in an incident like this. And so uh, we hope they wish them all well and they hope they, uh, their injuries aren't too severe. Um, secondly, just a little bit about the accident. It was uh, M11 bus traveling north at about 1122 this morning on uh, Amsterdam Avenue. Um, it was bus number uh, 9597. Um, it uh, was, um, there was a truck right next to it in the next lane over. It was um, apparently trying to avoid hitting a car that swerved into its lane, and so it swerved into the lane of the bus, clipping the front of the bus, which then caused the bus to come into um, put its brakes on and jostled the passengers in the back, which is probably the cost of the injury that's, uh, that's back there. Um, the, the bus operator is a great veteran of, uh, of the MTA and the New York City Transit. Um, it, he has about 20, almost 25 years of service. He is one of our really outstanding bus drivers. Um, Frank can tell you a lot more about him, but um, it's, it's bus drivers like that that we're glad to, that are here in incidents like this because they make sure that the, the incident is as uh, uh, um, damage-free as possible and takes care of the passengers. So really, really happy that he was on this bus today. Anything to add about the driver? Well, yeah, well, first I want to also thank the, uh, the fire department and EMS for a great response um, and, you know, just mimic what Pat said, you know, heartfelt uh, graces go out to everybody who was involved here. Yeah, I mean, I think this is just the prime example of what professionals we have uh, here working at TMT, specifically the bus operators. This veteran bus operator who's been, you know, almost a quarter century on the job, with his actually fast maneuvering and his skill set was able to evade, avoid even, you know, greater or even catastrophic injuries. So, you know, we're proud of the program we have and we're proud of our bus operators and we're just very thankful that everything seems to be non-life threatening and very minor in injuries here. Was the bus driver among those hospitalized with injuries? Yeah. Yes. Yes, the bus operator had some uh, minor injuries also and, you know, we're we there, we have staff there with, with him, you know, and giving him all the support he needs in your and MTA police as well as uh, FDNY in terms of them looking into what happened? Are there issues with what the construction vehicle was doing? Is it part of what might be uh, a traffic issue or do you think it was just everyday issues? So it, it's uh, NYPD and the FDNY are certainly looking into it. It's too early to tell what the real causes of they'll, they'll download the camera videos, they'll look around the business around here to try to find out what's, what else they can learn from it, but it's too early to tell in the investigation. We saw an MTA employee who had come on the bus after the accident and was actually injured, uh, slipped and hurt his knee and needed to be uh, put in a stint, uh, tourniquet, and then was uh, escorted sent to the hospital. Is he among the injured? No, no, that was a separate incident. That was actually one of our emergency responders who actually had a little slip and uh, sprained an ankle, so it wasn't related to the incident. Okay. Um, and I, I guess I'd just be... Uh, when you think of uh, future passengers, is there anything you want to say to someone who sees this on the news and thinks, oh, that could happen to me? Uh, how rare is this kind of thing for you guys to have to come out here and address a, an accident like this in Manhattan? I'll, I'll say that I, I, no one should be afraid to come on our system. I think that having this uh, veteran 25-year uh, bus operator shows that that while there was a, a, a bit, um, several people were injured on the bus, the, the injuries were very light, and um, it just uh, shows that, that we can really run a, a great operation here on a Frank Yeah, Yeah, and, and it's all about, you know, as you said earlier, you know, we do a deep investigations with, with the state, and it's not about fault, it's about preventability. And a, a, anytime we have an incident, we work this into our curriculum if, if needed be on how it could become even better. So yeah, what I say to people, you know, you, you take a look at our safety record, you can compare it to any other ag ag bus agencies out there. We're among the best, so don't be afraid to come out. Just curious, the construction vehicle that was here, was it part of this construction or completely separate, the guy that was here? So I wasn't here when that vehicle was here, so I, so I don't know the answer to that question. Yeah.